Now maybe one of you can provide a valid reason why on earth we would want a stopwatch in a radio like this. In fact, the most funniest reason for having a stopwatch left in the comments below will receive a brand new RTL SDR V4 with antenna kit. Okay, so we need to go through some of these comments now and uh, just see which one, well, I'm just gonna see which one actually makes me laugh. So uh, here we go. So I'm not gonna read all of them out because there's probably quite a lot, but um, anyway, let's uh, let's give it a go. So the stopwatch was added by a buffing RF engineer in his spare time while waiting for the company to buy its first spectrum analyzer. His stopwatch is still running. Now that's a good one. <laughs> I actually like that one. That's That's pretty funny. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, at David underscore says, we installed a stopwatch so we can finally settle the old age debate of who can transmit the longest CQ call without passing out from. That's good. Just good. But didn't make me laugh as much laugh as the other one. Uh, some repeaters have a very short talk timer, but short or long, the stopwatch will let you know how much time has lapsed. Well, kind of, that's almost like a bit of a serious one there, I think. Uh, and potentially it could actually be a good feature. Um, but unfortunately, this stopwatch doesn't activate when you press the PTT. So, uh, but yeah, you should send that send that request in to uh, whoever makes the radio. Who knows? Uh, at buglit720 says, the stopwatch is for checking your friend's response time during your next QSO. If they also have one, you can make a game of who has the shortest response time. This would go over oh so well on a busy repeater. Again, that's probably <laughs> that's probably another one that you could have as a feature rather than, uh, well, yeah, uh, rather than something that's ludicrous. Anyway, um, I don't know why they added a stopwatch to birthing, but it's about time, says Electric Bloke. <laughs> well, yeah, that, that, but um, tsh. <laughs> In fact, that's more funny than the comment. <laughs> oh dear. I like that. Cathode Ray Nipples. Blimey. What an awesome username that is. Oh dear. Uh, right, okay. So Jeffrey Wheeler says, how long it can remain in flight before hitting the ground when thrown off a cliff? Well, we all want to do that with uh, some bare things. So have a precise time when the water protection fails. See how many times you can twirl it by the antenna in 30 seconds or four if you're in a legged if you're in a three-legged race with other hams, you have to know how long it takes to run 50 meters. Five, get a proper pulse rate to see if the radio does anything for you. Okay. Uh Nigel Mann says the stopwatch function can be used in car or cycle races where a person at the finish line can report when someone crosses the line. Okay, the stopwatch, uh, John Alquist says the stopwatch was added at Russia's request so that its soldiers in Ukraine using birthing radios can monitor times since setting a fuse. Oh, God, I'm not even going to reply. I'm not even going to comment on that one. The stopwatch is for when mum says you only have 10 minutes to talk with your radio friends before dinner, says the doobie. Who's replied to that? Or like the 80s when she unplugged the PSU to your rig because you was on it all night. I'll tell you what, I actually remember when I first started on radio on CB when I was in my uh, early teens, still living at home. My uh, my parents used to, uh, yeah, they weren't happy with me because I had the CB radio on all the time. Uh, Nigel Howard says the stopwatch function on this radio is so that you can stop all the watches of the people within the TX range or even via a repeater. If you use it on a large network system, you may even stop time. So use with caution. Well, again, Neil Howard, that's 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 actually probably a feature that you could probably ask for, you know. Hi, Matthew. Great video again. Thank you, Lagrange Frederic. Sorry, I probably completely annihilated your name there. But anyway, hi, Matthew. Great video again about the stopwatch. I would say maybe for sports coach. I know that some are using PMR radios to communicate to other coaches or referees or with their athlete to give a start of a race as they as they are at the finish line and with this stopwatch they can get an all-in-one tool, I guess. However, thanks to this test and view on this bad field with pocket radio. Okay, that's a bit of a serious serious uh, answer there. So, uh, but thank you. Appreciate the comment. 
And um, that's probably quite a good valid reason, maybe. Who knows? Um, John Alquist. Oh, is it, is, oh, you've put another one in. The stopwatch can time the interval between a two-metre transmission and your notification of an illegal out-of-bounds signal due to overly strong second harmonic. Well, yeah. Ohaya says, is a WN option displayed at... Okay, that's not even part of this. Uh, the geekiest guy says the stopwatch is to know exactly how long it takes the FCC to bust down the door for transmitting on the wrong frequency. Well, yeah. XXX43. It's hard to tell. Is there enough room for aftermarket antennas on top without digging out the Dremel? I have plenty of bare things. It would take a lot more than a stopwatch to get me to buy another one. Okay. The audio seemed clear. I like blah, blah, blah. Uh, the reason for the stopwatch function in this radio is so that the doctor can traverse to Gallifrey to see how quickly the Time Lords will be able to stand up to the Daleks before they're wiped out. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need that hint. <laughs> I don't know who Doctor is, but I know who Doctor Who is. Uh, Mr. One Apple Maker. Yeah, that's actually quite funny. Uh, this, that's, that's the kind of humour that I like. Uh, it literally went out there and because I'm a bit of a I'm a Doctor Who fan and so yeah although I didn't really like the uh, I didn't like the woman uh, nothing sexist about it it's just uh, anyway it is what it is um, Ham Radio on the go says great review I would say the stopwatch is to really in the long winded hams on the repeater well, I tell you what, there is sometimes, isn't there? And you know what? You know, like when you're listening to a repeater, like there's a net going on on a repeater, and what happens is, is that these 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 people that are talking, they just continuously waffle and waffle and waffle, and they will actually say, "Hold on, I'm just going to take a pip." So what they'll do is, when their timer comes up on their radio to say they've been waffling for X amount of time because they know the time the repeater is going to time out, they'll de key and then key up again. Anyway, uh, Dream Coder UK says, I'm not sure why they would include a stopwatch on a radio. I've been wondering this for a few days now and keep meaning to email Bayerfeng for an explanation, but it's never been the time. Unfortunately, I did date a designer of stopwatches and that is pretty much my 14.734 seconds of being famous. <laughs> well done, Dream Coder. You made it into the video. Right, ZL2 toy. The stopwatch fun uh, the stopwatch is so that you can see how long it will be before someone tells you how worthless and horrible the cheap Chinese junk radio is on the repeater you keyed up on. Even though the same people will have given you a rave review for your sounds just moments prior to you telling them it's a thing. Yeah. Uh Tom Salter, to time how long it takes to detect the radio spurious emissions. Uh, Max Mixer, nice video. The stopwatch is to time the battery going flat in front of your eyes. Uh, Theo View, stopwatch implemented as a tool to test all display segment. After that, the engineering is forgotten to remove this tool. And Tech Minds, what on the world are you? Are very very surprised. Mm. Uh, SB Fox forty seven ninety five. Hi, my guess for having a stopwatch in the radio is to see how long the battery lasts. However, the radio looks cool with the USB-C as a standard. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, Charlie, something, something, something. The stopwatch is for moon bounce. Broadcast for 30 seconds and listen for 30 seconds. Okay. Uh, Ohaya, one. The stopwatch is determined how long until you get the first weird look from a passerby when they hear CQ, CQ, CQ. Well, I tell you what, that has happened. I can remember I actually was doing some antenna testing up at a, a local woods and, you know, picnic area. And I was sat there and uh, I had so many people come over to me and say, what are you doing? You know, you've got all this gear spread out on this picnic table uh, and they stand there and talk to you and when you're in mid QSO you can't really just stop talking to the person you're talking to on the radio you know but anyway I digress John for the win says DX contest time traveler pretend your stopwatch is a time machine and announce that you've traveled back in time to participate in an old DX contest from your part from the past log your contacts with vintage radio operators way over my head that one Raymond Martin says maybe there is a built-in stopwatch to time gymnastics events which amateur radios help out with the coordination of it do they well I'm a radio ham operator and I've never done that uh JM Naylor I just ordered two of these radios from Banggood oh okay um 
Uh, Deanie 87 says, I can't believe they fired me from the Bailfing factory after all that extra hours I put in into a stopwatch. Awful. Luke 69763 says, The reason they built a stopwatch into the Bailfing ham radio? Well, it all started when a group of ham radio enthusiasts got together for a contest to see who could make the most perfectly timed microwave popcorn while on the airwaves. They quickly realised they needed a way to synchronise their popcorn popping skills with their radio conversations. Dot, 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 read more. So the brilliant engineers decided to... It's too long-winded, sorry, mate. Uh, Falls Robin second, underscore second. Why should you have a stopwatch on handheld radio device? Bizik turns your radio into a high-stakes game show. Will your friend finish their story before the timer runs out? Or will they be static in their speech forever? Hmm. Uh, Christopher Smith, stopwatches are a great tool at sporting advents. We use radios. Oh, this is actually a serious one. Okay. Um, Hank W6IR, the stopwatch is the time. How long it takes Bearfin to come up with a new model? <laughs> well, you know what, actually, Hank? I would agree if, you, if, if it was a countdown. If it's a timer that had a five second countdown on it, you could just activate it like literally over and over and over, and then you'd have. Because that's pretty much what it's like, isn't it, these days? Bearfang will come out with a new radio every five seconds. But the question is, and something that I've learned, is that not all not all radios that have got Bearfang written on them are actually made by Bearfang. They're clones, copies, not officials. Just uh, some cheeky company using their name. Anyway, Peng, Peng Plobes. The stopwatch is to time how long the SDR takes to ship. Well, it's not an SDR, it's a radio. Stopwatch is for when my wife calls me in from the shack for tea. She says, if I don't come in in 10 minutes, she will feed my tea to the dog. I would hate for anything to happen to the dog, says David G, 2011. Uh, Ryan Leathers, HT stopwatch, the feature you'll never actually use, but will always bring up when bragging about your HT's rich feature set. <laughs> That's probably okay. That one made me laugh. Yeah, that one made me laugh. Because uh, that's probably true. Uh, it probably is true. There's probably some people out there that will, will actually do that. So I, I quite like that. That's uh, that's that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Um, okay. Uh, time is important for amateur radio. I think that the stopwatch would tell me the time I'm on the air, battery life, or the time for my student obligations. Well, you know, that's a serious one. But yes, you're right. Uh, David Wilkinson, stopwatch added to see how long it takes to walk out of range. Uh, Rick Grubber says the stopwatch is so you can see how long the people on the nets hold can hold the mic and describe their prostate exam to everyone in boring detail. Are we talking about uh, 160 metres, are we? Mm. Yeah, top band, eh? Uh, There's a good one. I like that one. Mr. Rick Grubber. Very well done. Uh, Gibby, I don't know if I want to pronounce your name. Gibby Wanker not Noby. Uh, it's a great gift for that blabber mouth that keeps timing out the repeater. With the stopwatch, you can keep from timing it out. Well, I tell you what, anyone that's a blabber mouth on a repeater, they'll just ignore the timer anyway. Welsh Bike Packing Adventures. I like it. Good. Uh, Atari Geezer, the reason they built a stopwatch is a call sign announcement reminder for hams. John Stockwell, my Bafeng UV89 Black, has a stopwatch on it. Guitar Man, the stopwatch is to let you know when it's time to buy some more radio equipment. At least that is what I'm going to tell my wife. I will let you all know if she doesn't hide the radios I have now. Good luck to everyone, but I really would, really would like to win myself. You want to win yourself, Mr. Guitar Man. Uh, the Radio Rover, the stopwatch is for timing how long it takes the crappy non-fused charger to go up and smoke and burn your house down. Uh, Trevor Van Cleef says stopwatch to see how long the battery lasts. Uh, John Stockwell says to time how long it is until the next red. Yeah, we've had a similar comment to that. Uh, Kathy Ray Nipples, the stopwatch makes sense in China for reasons only known to them. They're a, they're a bit weird, remember. <laughs> I, I might have to edit that comment out. I don't think I can say that. Uh, Porco, stopwatches to keep track of time better spent with the Yesu icon or Kenwood. When the countdown reaches zero, it's time to buy an any toes, says Atari Giza. Chris says, I need a stopwatch when working one local Peter. I think to time out the timer when you transmit. A lot of these are all related to timeouts. And uh, uh, Captain Pickles, what a name. The stopwatch is so we can see just how much time we're burning on these radios. 
It's quite obvious, says Jim Combs. The stopwatch is to allow the user to see how long he or she is willing to wait for someone to respond to their net call. Iono Vig says this radio boasts a stopwatch feature because radio operators are renowned for their impeccable timing when sharing jokes over the airwaves. By utilising the stopwatch, they can meticulously time their pauses for impeccable comic delivery. <laughs> This radio is designed with a deep appreciation for the art of delivering jokes with precision, ensuring that operators can confidently ensure that their punchlines resonate at precisely the right moment, causing their fellow operators to burst into fits of laughter. Quite a long-winded explanation there, but I'll give that to you. Yes, that was a good, well-thought-out comment. Well done. Andy Hunter, the stopwatch is for time in the length of spirit. Okay, we've had similar comments to that. 89 Radio, the stopwatch is to count the time it takes your wife to say to turn that stupid radio off. Had something similar to that. Rene Dewart, just a guess when transmitting clandestinely, clandestine line Lee. There is some data on how long it takes to triangulate your position. The stopwatch serves as a cure. See, that's uh, that's very um, yeah. It's just it's just not. It's, it, it, the stopwatch wasn't activated when uh, when you press the PTT. Unfortunately, it's kind of in there. Um, Martin Morag, it's for waiting for the SDR four to get in stock again. <laughs> Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, Nick Geisler, 1539. It's for whackers to make sure too much time hasn't passed since they told someone they're in emergencies because they're... Okay. Uh, Adria Kujiman. In my opinion, the review should start and end with the minus 15 dB harmonic. That completely disqualifies the device as anything else than a receiver with built-in flashlight and stopwatch, and that's not funny. We see la. Wistila says, looks really good. The stopwatch is to see how long it is before somebody slags it off for being a Balfang or to time how long it is until the next Prime Minister. Uh, VK Ham, the stopwatch is to see how much time you've wasted using the stopwatch on the radio. Wayne Seller says, it is time for bathroom break at work so you don't too long while sitting on the throne. Uh, GP5MP says, okay, this is stop clock, need the radio, one, two, three, go. Uh, KF0KDE says the stopwatch is to see how long it, it will be before some old guy on the net talks about cutting or not cutting his grass. Audio Maker says stopwatch times how long the radio is replaced with a new model. Uh, P3FS, the stopwatch is for boiling an egg. Electric Bloke says just one tip when using the bathing stopwatch, don't use it on the belt clip. It's a waste of time. And whatever says have a stopwatch to keep track of motor mouse who talk too long. Okay, uh, Richard Sage, ham radio really is a joke. <laughs> yeah, certain parts of it is with certain people. Uh, Ryan says the stopwatch is for sad fat hams that need to exercise and run a few laps. Well, that's me. And put the free donuts and coffee downtrodden ham radio outlet. Right, so now we've got to pick a winner. Oh, dear me, there was one that really does stick out in my head. Uh, let's see if I can find it. I'm just going to go through from the top again just quickly to remind myself i actually i you know what i actually like this the, this from cathode ray nipples right cathode ray nipples this is my this is the comment which actually made me laugh i like that that's good so cathode ray nipples you are the winner but so are you electric bloke because he commented on your comment or she, he or she, them, they, whatever. So we're going to have two winners and I'll send you both out. So you guys need to email me. My email is in the about section on YouTube. Or you can just go to my website, m0dqw.com and uh, email me from there. So electric bloke and cathode array nipples. Congratulations. You have won an RTL SDR version four receiver kit. So not just the STR itself, you also get a little V dipole antenna as well. So drop me an email, you two, and uh, I'll get that sent out to you in the next week or so. Thanks to everybody who made comments on this video. It's quite entertaining going through them. Maybe I'll do this again in the future. And for those of you that don't even know what I'm talking about in this particular video, well, you have to listen to my videos. If you watch my videos every now and again, I will put a little comment in there where I say I'm going to be giving a giveaway. I won't announce it in the video title or the description, but in the video, I will tell you what you need to do to enter. 
and you could win something pretty funky. Till the next video, take care.